Hi, Conrad Flynn here with my review of the brand new BlackBerry Bold 9900 series or 9930 if you're on Verizon like me. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice about this new device is the overall quality of its construction. It is the thinnest BlackBerry made to date, uh, but overall has a really excellent hand feel nice uh, brushed aluminum surround. It has the carbon fiber back and this real nice soft touch rubber coating around the sides of the back. Makes it uh, fit in your hand quite nicely. It's extremely comfortable to hold and use. Um, it feels great. It has a certain heft to it which I really appreciate. Um, it does not at all have uh, that kind of plasticky feeling that some previous Blackberries uh, were known for. So the overall quality is, uh, is definitely very nice and that's the first thing that you're going to notice as soon as you put your hands on this device. Uh, very, very well done. Uh, the screen quality is, uh, is really stunning as well. It has a gorgeous display, 24-bit color depth. It is a 640 by 480 uh, resolution, which means uh, it is a higher resolution display on previous BlackBerry Bold models, um, meaning that uh, you have much nicer real estate which is uh, which is really great, I think, for uh, for for reading emails. It does make it quite a bit easier, um, especially if you want to uh, if you want to zoom in and uh, see things large. It looks really great. Um, screen is really well done. Not quite as nice as the screen on the iPhone 4, but still much much nicer than probably 80 or 90 percent of the other smartphones out there. Um, overall, with uh, the the speed and performance of this device, I'm very impressed with it. Um, mostly due to the 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon processor and I won't give too many technical specifications but that is uh, the same processor that people have come to expect on many of the high-end uh, Android devices. So uh, with speed and performance wise this device does leave very little to be desired and that was a problem area with Blackberries in the past. Um, where this device really does shine is with its multitasking which is true multitasking. Now the interface for the multitasking isn't as elegant as it is on the iPhone and personally I think the Palm Pre and those devices have the best multitasking interface on a uh, smartphone but um, it is true multitasking unlike many smartphones. That is if I change applications my application isn't actually suspended it does still continue to run uh, which is very handy um, especially when it comes to the new browser. Um, one of the things I'll say about the new browser is uh, it, it is a huge change in the experience and this is something that so many BlackBerry users have asked me about. In the last two weeks since I got my hands on this device, every time I mention having it, BlackBerry users say, well, how's the browser? Uh, the reason is the browser has been a real point of contention with BlackBerry users and rightfully so. The browser in the past was very lacking. Uh, I am very happy to report though that it has changed dramatically um, it is uh, full tabbed browsing, and again, using true multitasking, the tabs do, can still, do, do uh, still continue to run in the background. Um, it has a great uh, browsing experience that you would expect from a high-end smartphone, and that's also thanks to uh, the new liquid graphics and this gorgeous uh, full touch screen here that's available now on this Bolt. So it does have this uh, wonderful keyboard that BlackBerry is known for plus the touchscreen, super highly responsive touchscreen, much better than on previous touch Blackberries like the Storm and Storm 2. So you do have the, uh, the scroll interface and you can easily pinch to zoom, just what you expect on, uh, on, most, on most smartphones now. So Blackberry is finally up to speed with some of that technology. When it comes to the browser though, I have to say I was very impressed with uh, the, the full functionality and the rich experience that you get. It does support full HTML5 and also full flash capabilities on the BlackBerry. Um, what I really was impressed by with the last BlackBerry browser, I would look for websites that did work and I'd be surprised you know, when they did. Uh, on this phone, I can't find any websites that don't work. In fact, even a high-end uh, piece of software as a service, like a marketing CRM that my company uses, works perfectly on my BlackBerry. And I've never, fr I frankly never saw that software work on any mobile device before ever, but it does work flawlessly in the new BlackBerry browser. Um, here you can see I'm at, uh, I'm at my own blog on my, on my BlackBerry. Uh, YouTube embedded video plays back perfectly. 
Uh, I'll also pinch to zoom and, and scroll over quick. You see that I have a uh, Facebook applet there, which many blogs have nowadays. I happen to be logged in on Facebook on my on my phone, and you'll notice that it do, the browser does know that, and uh, it pulls up the the applet with uh, my friends and recommendations in there accordingly, which is pretty impressive because uh, a lot of other smartphones. Uh, don't have that level of integration between their browser and their other built-in applications. Um, with the new BlackBerry OS 7, I would probably say that the uh, OS integration with the applications is definitely a strong point. With BlackBerry, it really always has been, um, but I will say that there, there were some nice refinements that took place to many of the built-in apps. Um, the email handling is, of course, uh, the best, in my opinion, on any smartphone. You'd be hard-pressed to find a better mobile platform for email and messaging. Um, the instant messaging, the text messaging, and, of course, BBM, all extremely solid and uh, really hallmarks of the flagship BlackBerry device. So you're, you're sure to be impressed with those features. Um, in terms of productivity features and collaboration features, the address book did get some nice uh, refinements to make it a little bit more touchscreen friendly and a little bit more interactive. Um, easy to scroll through with the touchscreen. Actually, the physics engine on the touchscreen is really excellent, um, very smooth and responsive. And one other thing that I'll point out that's not really publicized, but the optical trackpad does respond to the same physics engine that the touchscreen does, which is great because it helps you get around quick. Uh, if you're used to the other Blackberries and you'll be moving to this device from an old Blackberry uh, bold with the optical trackpad or a curve or, or even the uh, tour with the uh, track uh, trackball still, you'll find that it's an easy transition, but it's really easy to also scroll at a, at a number of different speeds using that uh, using the optical trackpad here as well. Um, I personally, I use that optical trackpad on this device for maybe the first two days. The touchscreen was so nice and responsive that I... I I now almost exclusively use the touchscreen. So the address book did get a nice refresh. So did the built-in calendaring application, which um, does have a real great way to handle side-by-side -side or adjacent or conflicting or overlapping events in your calendar, which is uh, really nice. Um, and that's, that's definitely a good feature. Again, that's not a, a publicized feature, but it's a nicety and a refinement in the new operating system that I really appreciate. I thought I'd make mention of that. Uh, of course, like many Blackberries, it uh, can not only open, but also create Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents right out of the box, which is certainly uh, a big jump above most other smartphones. Um, most other smartphones uh, require third-party applications to get that functionality, uh, most of which you have to pay for. So really excellent in terms of the collaboration, productivity tools. BlackBerry's always been very strong there, and they've certainly enhanced it in the new operating system. So it's, it's definitely, I would say, a job well done in uh, that respect. Uh, the responsiveness overall of the operating system is really excellent, especially with the touch. Um, it has the familiar uh, navigation that you, you frankly expect uh, now from smartphones today, so they've kind of uh, updated it, and frankly, RIM should have been doing this probably a year or two ago, um, but it is welcome that it's here now. I will say with multimedia features, they've come a long way as well. BlackBerry's advertising this new no shutter delay camera, and I actually was very impressed with it. I'll just take a few snapshots here real quick, but you s can actually hear that it is an extremely responsive camera, and I was actually impressed by that because BlackBerry, not usually known for being a very strong uh, multimedia device, but the camera's excellent. It's 5 me megapixel camera, and it also shoots 720p HD video, which uh, also looks great. The camera on here, I, I could dare say it's better than the iPhone 4 camera. It's certainly better than the camera on the, uh, on the iPad, and certainly better than the camera on many other smartphones. So really excellent. Um, I haven't stacked it up to uh, some of the high-end Android devices, but I will say it's definitely above average um, in terms of the, the camera. Um, overall, one thing I found that was interesting about the device is it is a 3G device, not a 4G device. And even though on paper the hardware is 4G capable, um, which means the carrier can potentially update it to 4G with a free software update later, uh, but I can't count on that, and I certainly wouldn't promise it because it, that would be totally unofficial at this point. 
Um, an interesting note, though, I'll also make is um, the new iPhone 5 is not going to be 4G capable either, according to Verizon. Um, so that's another interesting note. Though speed-wise, between Wi-Fi at my real office here and at my home office and uh, the 3G network with Verizon, which has always been, an, I found to be an extremely reliable network, um, speed-wise, uh, I really don't have any, anything left to be desired. It's, it's very fast. Um, overall, I will say that this is uh, hands down the strongest BlackBerry phone on the market today. Um, this is probably the BlackBerry that all other Blackberries will be measured against in the very uh, short future. The BlackBerry Bold, of course, is the flagship of the BlackBerry line, and it has all of the features um, that you would expect. Other BlackBerry devices will only be um, stripped down versions of this phone uh, right now. It's a very exciting time to be a BlackBerry user and a BlackBerry uh, shareholder even because they're launch after launch right now. They're being very aggressive with their updates to the BlackBerry Playbook and their QNX based operating system there to the new Bold Touch, the new uh, Torch devices, uh, the full touch Torch device is really exciting too and that's coming up and they've announced some new Curve devices as well. So it is a very exciting time, a lot of good things coming. In terms of the overall picture, how this device stacks up to the smartphone market as a whole, um, I, I can't say it's the best smartphone on the market because it, it probably definitely isn't. But what I will say is if the primary uses for your smartphone are, are messaging, texting, instant messaging, um, you will appreciate the full keyboard and the overall quality of the experience here. As a messaging device, uh, BlackBerry continues to be the strongest device on the market, and I would really say that you're hard-pressed to find any arguments against that. Um, when it comes to create uh, pr uh, productivity and uh, collaboration features, uh, the BlackBerry continues to be extremely strong, if not one of the best. Uh, right out of the box, you have all that functionality that professional users really come to know and expect from BlackBerry. Uh, in terms of multimedia, even though this device is, uh, is, is a huge improvement, over uh, previous Blackberries in that arena, um, it's still probably not the best multimedia device. Um, gaming probably does leave a lot to be desired as well. Uh, the application store uh, with Blackberry, there's a lot of great developers and a lot of great apps in there, but uh, definitely not as expansive as what you'd find in the iPhone and even probably the Android. Um, so if you're looking uh, for, for apps, uh, gaming, multimedia, it's probably not the best device. Um, I think it's starting to get well-rounded enough now that you could get by, and uh, professional users will appreciate that it's still a good multimedia device. Um, but it really shines with messaging and productivity and collaboration, where I still feel BlackBerry is the hands-down winner. Uh, so if that is the primary reasons why you're using your smartphone, if those are the primary things you use your smartphone for, I think this is definitely a contender, and it's, uh, it is the device to look at. Um, if you're already a BlackBerry user or a BlackBerry brand loyalist, uh, this is really a no-brainer upgrade, and I think you will probably appreciate uh, the features packed into this device, probably even more so uh, than most people, um, because you've been waiting for them for a while. A uh, really great device. Um, as a longtime BlackBerry user, I say, Rim, it's about time that uh, we get some of these features, and uh, frankly, while it has been a, a, a long time coming, uh, it's almost worth waiting for. A uh, well done, well executed, quality's great. Uh, again, if you're a BlackBerry user, this device is really a no-brainer upgrade. The only thing I can say that's worth waiting for is the uh, release of the the full touch bold. If you're looking for something that kind of looks and feels more like the iPhone or an or a high-end Android device without the built-in keyboard. Um, for me, BlackBerry has always had the best mobile keyboard in the industry, hands down, and I wanted to stick with that keyboard. Um, so the, the new Bold Touch was the way to go for me. The only reason not to get this device if you're already a BlackBerry user is, like I said, if you're waiting for one of those new Torch devices to come out, um, which are announced and they should be coming out shortly, so you shouldn't have to wait too much longer to get the new BlackBerry OS 7 device in your hands. Excellent job, Rim. Thank you. We've been waiting for probably two years now to have something like this in our hands, and, and here it is. Uh, so that's my review. If you have any other questions about the device, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will, uh, I will answer and provide feedback as I can. Thanks for watching.